Hello there, random smart person on the internet. Quick, think of the brightest thing in the universe. You may be tempted to say our sun. Sure, that may seem reasonable. It is the most dominant object in our sky, outshining all the other objects in our universe from our point of view. But in the grandness of the cosmos, our star is only a medium-sized star located about here in the Hertzberg-Russell diagram, or HR diagram for short. The HR diagram is a graph which the absolute magnitude or brightness of a star is plotted against its temperature. As you can see, the sun is about in the middle of terms of absolute magnitude, so it's not even the brightest star. If it's not our sun, maybe it's the largest stars fusing elements in its core. Maybe VY Canis Majoris or UY Scuti. No, not even those. What is the brightest object in the universe? I'm glad you asked. The brightest event in our universe are known as gamma ray bursts, or GRBs for short. GRBs occur when the largest stars collapse to form black holes or when two neutron stars merge together. How bright is that? A gamma ray burst is a million trillion or one quintillion times as bright as the sun. The first GRBs were observed in the late 1960s, thanks to the launching of the Vela satellites by the United States. They were meant to detect the telltale gamma ray signatures of nuclear weapons test in the wake of the 1963 nuclear test ban treaty with the Soviet Union. The U.S. feared that the Soviets were conducting secret nuclear tests in violation of the treaty. In July of 1967, two of those satellites picked up a flash of gamma radiation that was clearly not the signature of a nuclear weapons test. That data was filed away, but later, Vela satellites, with improved instruments, recorded several more gamma ray bursts. A team at Los Alamos National Laboratory analyzed when each burst was detected by different satellites to estimate where these 16 bursts originated from. In 1973, they determined that the bursts weren't from Earth or even our solar system. On October 9th, 2022, astronomers detected the boat, the brightest of all time, of GRBs. Multiple space-based detectors picked up a powerful GRB passing through our solar system, sending astronomers around the world scrambling to point their telescopes at that part of the sky to collect the vital data on the event and its afterglow. Dubbed GRB 221009 Alpha because astronomers are really good at naming things, this signal traveled an estimated 1.9 billion years to reach Earth. This GRB is the most powerful yet recorded and is the birth cry of a new black hole, one formed at the heart of a massive star collapsing under its own weight. In these circumstances, a newly formed black hole drives powerful jets of particles traveling at near the speed of light. The jet pierces through the star's remains, emitting X-rays and gamma rays as they stream into space. The light from this ancient explosion brings with it new insights into stellar collapse, the birth of black holes, the behavior and interactions of matter at near the speed of light, and much more. Another GRB this bright may not appear for decades. There are two classes of GRBs. First, 70% of them are long bursts, lasting longer than two seconds, often with a bright afterglow. These are usually linked to galaxies with rapid star formations. Long bursts are tied to the deaths of massive stars collapsing to form a neutron star or a black hole. The baby black hole would produce jets of highly energetic particles moving at near the speed of light, emitting X-rays and gamma rays. 30% of GRBs last less than two seconds and are deemed short bursts, usually emanating from regions with very little star formation. Astronomers think these gamma ray bursts are results of mergers between two neutron stars or a neutron star merging with a black hole. That hypothesis was confirmed in 2017 when LIGO picked up the gravitational wave signal of two neutron stars merging, accompanied by the powerful gamma ray burst associated with a kilonova. Early in 2022, astrophysicists spotted mysterious X-rays that are the very first detection of a kilonova afterglow from the same merger. According to the preliminary analysis, Fermi's Large Area Telescope detected this burst for more than 10 hours. This is incredible. Most GRBs last for milliseconds to just a few minutes. One reason for the burst's brightness and longevity is that, for a GRB, it lies relatively close to us. Astronomers are able to detect more details of the GRB compared to further, fainter GRBs. Of course, much closer means something very different when we're talking about the scale of the universe 
compared to our everyday lives. Like all gamma ray bursts observed to date, GRB 221009 alpha occurred in a galaxy far, far away from our own Milky Way, and thus has no ill effects on Earth. A powerful gamma ray burst could be quite dangerous if it occurred in the Milky Way within five to 8,000 light years from Earth, with emissions pointed directly at us. If one this close would target Earth, there would likely be a short-term increase in ground levels of ultraviolet radiation, causing a sharp rise in DNA damage to living organisms. It could also trigger chemical reactions in Earth's atmosphere, depleting the ozone or producing acid rain. Some scientists have suggested that the Ordovician Silurian extinction event 450 million years ago may have been the result of nearby gamma ray bursts. So there you have it. You learned that the brightest event in the universe is a gamma ray burst and the two ways this event is triggered. Leave a comment down below on how you think humanity would respond to Earth being hit with a gamma ray burst and if we as a species would survive. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Whatever you think, always remember, have fun with STEM.